Hi, this is Will Tigert, and I wanted to go over really quick what a Facebook pixel is. A lot of people are hearing about it online, and you're hearing that it's good for your business, and I wanted to show you uh, what it was all about. So we all try to get people to go to our website, and whether we're trying to do Google AdWords or Facebook ads or just putting out content that gets people to our website or our web page, um, we try to drive people to our website. What you do is you will uh, attach this Facebook pixel to your page and when somebody comes to your page their browser then will attach the pixel that you put on your website to the person. So that means that now this person wherever they go they're going to have your pixel with them. So they may leave and go to other sites, and when they come back to your site, you'll know that they've been there. Now the interesting thing is, the pixel will know where on the page that they've been, but they also know have they been on this page, have they been on this page. They know where your customer has been. Now the important thing to that is, that it will allow you to target advertise them or follow them if they went to your original page but then didn't sign up for a newsletter then you can target advertise them and say hey um, would you like to look at my newsletter if they went to your newsletter and signed up here uh, then you'll know that they're part of your newsletter and you could have specific ads or specific actions just for the people that went to your newsletter so that's called retargeting Here's an illustration. Uh, basically, you would create and install the pixel. Uh, custom audiences, um, I'm not going to go over that too much here, but you can go over custom audiences and, and then over here you can track, uh, like I said, exactly uh, where these people are going to, what content that they saw, and you can retarget them. This is what it looks like when you go to the Facebook to do the pixel it's very easy you just copy and paste the code into the header of your web pages and it runs you right through exactly what you'd wanna you know which Facebook pixels and which actions that you'd wanna do here's another illustration you have somebody that comes to your website uh, maybe they go to a certain page or a cart um, but they don't actually purchase something and then when they leave, you can create an ad. Uh, some people even create an ad if somebody went to a shopping cart but didn't fill it out for whatever reasons. Um, and you can say, hey, um, you know, this particular person, you can put in a target ad that says, hey, um, do you need to finish what's in your shopping cart? Or, hey, um, why didn't you finish it? And then that will bring them right back in through here. The other thing that it might do is it might allow them um, if they have purchased let's say item A and they did not purchase the upsell or you have an upsell and they they just didn't go with that for some reason you can then target them and try to bring them back here to do the upsell so at this point if all you did was go into Facebook get a pixel and make sure that it's put on every one of your pages and then when you get some time, you can go back there and look at some advanced things that you can do. But for right now, what I would do is I would uh, make sure that you get a Facebook pixel uh, put in on every one of your pages and everything that you're trying to do um, because it will help you out. So good luck, and if you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler.